you've finally arrived, though you didn't intend to. This is a small, sleepy town where the impossible thrives and bazaar runs rampant. Sit down, relax, and join us here in Uncanny Cove. $1,000 to stay in a haunted house overnight. You've heard this story before, surely. But unlike the hundreds of goosebump inducing scary stories you've heard, this one is reality. <laughs> As if something strange could ever happen in Uncanny Cove. The thought makes you laugh out loud. <coughs> Besides, what could possibly go wrong with Kane watching your back? Kane shakes his head and wags his tail, almost as if to confirm your trust in him. This is going to be a piece of cake. The hardest part about this whole thing is going to be choosing what to spend that thousand dollars on. The house seems to be an old abandoned farmhouse. The grassy fields grossly overgrown and the house itself in shambles. Whether it's haunted or not, it sure is creepy to look at. According to legend, Every night at midnight, a bloody severed head supposedly falls down the chimney. The legend is so ridiculous, you just had to take that thousand dollar bet. If a bloody head falls down the chimney every night, why isn't there one lying on the floor right now? Is there some kind of severed head janitor that cleans up this old farmhouse? Yeah, right. You duck down and peer into the dusty fireplace. No signs of blood, and certainly no signs of any recent cleaning. What a joke. Kane even agrees this is ridiculous. As night sets in, you unroll your sleeping bag in the center of the room facing the fireplace. If something is going to fall down that chimney, you want to be front and center. You look over at Kane curled up across the room before turning out the light. Now to wait for morning. You sit up straight, spooked by the distant voice. It must be a hunter or something making his way through the woods, right? You glance over at Kane, whose ears are perked straight up. The hunter must be pretty close out back. It's weird, no doubt, but you're sure he'll pass in peace soon enough. You look over at Kane again as he picks himself up off the floor and stands in front of the chimney. The irony isn't lost on you. Of course, Kane thinks the sound is coming from the chimney. Sticking your head in there is probably the best way to hear the sounds coming from outdoors. However, that doesn't mean a bloody head will- Took it. Stuck it. Slid it. <laughs> you clamber backwards as fast as you can as you watch Kane. Did he just... reply? What on earth was that sound coming from him? Your heart starts to race as the voice grows louder. Your back is now fully pressed up against the wall as Kane once again mutters. Sick it. Stuck it. Slid it. <laughs> you try to utter Kane's name. But your throat is too tensed in fear. I hear stretching, dirty, lacerate there, eyes peel bare. You want to run, but you can't will your legs to Stop. move. Stop it. Instead, it. you stand trembling, your eyes glued to the fireplace. You glance at your watch to find 1158 glancing right back at you. This can't be real. This doesn't make sense. You look toward Cain once more to find him on his back, whining and reeling in pain. What's going on here? Forcing yourself out of your fear paralysis, you dash to your companion's side. You don't know how to help him, but you can't just let him suffer like this. Feet I hear, stretching, dirty, lacerate tail. The voice booms down the chimney, filling the entire room. Still struggling under some invisible weight, Kane whines while replying. 
Then all at once, you watch peeps. Midnight. Before you have a moment to react, the windows begin rattling as if dozens of people were knocking on them. You look down at Kane, who now lays dead on the floor. Then, you hear a thud in the fireplace. You fall backwards as you make eye contact with the bloody head sitting before you. Its eyes narrow in on you as its mouth stretches open. Paralyzed again, your heart begins to sting as its beats become too rapid for your body to handle. The head then lets out a horrific howl as you clutch your chest, the sharp pain in your heart now unbearable. You collapse onto the floor in front of you, your eyesight fading as you stare directly into the gaping mouth of the severed head. Things aren't always as they seem, yet conversely, things are sometimes exactly how they seem. Be cautious and use your best judgment, especially when you find yourself in Uncanny Cove. Subscribe to Uncanny Cove. I'm here. Rerun.